Hello, welcome back to another Godzilla Battle Line video. It's been a while since we hopped into these ranked matches. Pretty excited. And this team is made up of a ton of the buffs and nerfs we just got, so there's not really a rhyme or reason behind this team. It's more just trying out, um, you know, buffed and nerfed units. Which is funny, because he's also trying it out. He's got Burning Godzilla and Ultraman. Exactly what I got. But this update does look phenomenal. We're getting so many awesome level ups and whatnot. Very excited. Very, very excited. Hmm. What's the play here? We don't have Dimension Tide with Ultraman because I just wanted to try out like all the buffs and nerfs. I do think Ultraman is going to be fine. His attack nerf was pretty low, and it looks like Psychic Chorus's heal nerf was also pretty low, so everything looks like it's going to be pretty alright with those units. It's gonna be so hard to deploy Mephilus and not Ultraman. <laughs> Ultraman is just so much better. Got the Sunday stun to uh, or the Sunday slow to uh, slow down our burning Godzilla so the explosion doesn't get in there. But Mothra hits like a truck now. We can go ahead and pop our G89 boost. And it does look this it does look like we are going to uh, pick up the win. We are pretty low rank right now, so we're probably going to be playing a bunch of new people. But it'll be a good way to try out all these buffs and nerfs. Next match, Mr. Mo, Lester. And because we won that last match, we have a ton of new achievements coming through. Which gave me a ton of gold. I played a match earlier and it literally gave me like 100,000 gold. It was crazy. But overall, the buffs and nerfs are a little small. Burning Godzilla was already really good, and his explosion scales with his attack, so I do feel like he is going to be a very strong unit. And we'll have to see how Evil One counters him. Oh, he should be fine here. We'll just let him uh, charge into us a little bit. Stall on him. Play the good old Jet Jaguar. Let's see how he does. And then we'll deploy Mothra if he wants to stop our Ultraman with something. It does look pretty good though. Go ahead and send King Caesar over here as well. Ooh, yeah, this Kiryu is not going to like this King Caesar charge. Pop the GD9 boost for our. Uh, ooh, Jet Jaguar again. But it did look like we stalled on him pretty hard pick up that way. Next match, Gemini Sunshine. All new faces. Hopefully they like me. <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Next match, Fierce the Dragon. I think I remember Fierce. A dragon never forgets another dragon, you know. But Mothra does look like her attack buff was potentially pretty, pretty big. I might have trolled that super hard. Oh gosh, I trolled it. It's all right. We only just lost our two pre evos off the bat. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And down goes Mr. Caesar. It didn't really go super well for us off the bat here, but I do think we'll be able to recover. But Ultraman. And the boy Jento Jaga. There we go. Oh, is that a terrestrial I see? King Caesar just get a buff? Shit, rock. And 
Ultraman did take out that Mega King Ghidorah, that's pretty good. Charge went off on the leader still, not bad. And hopefully we can get our Mothra up. Hopefully. I'm just gonna hear you my Mothra. What a jerk. Nothing I can really do about it. That's how he wants to do it. That's how it's gonna have to happen. We don't really need Mothra in this match though. We have a nice little stall going on right there. Deployed the god himself. And pretty much just gotta hope he doesn't have a dimension tied. Earth might be pretty tough here. And hopefully we've already made a case because we did not. Send out Mephilus to let him uh, have some fun. Hopefully the earth goes down. It does. Mephilus and Ultraman working together. Why couldn't they do that in the movie? That was so good. Okay, did Mephilus not hit? That was weird. Oh, I might have that. Oh, nope, I didn't. Hit him, hit him. Boom. Your U buffs or uh, King Caesar buff. It's gonna help with killing pressures even more now. Uh oh. You locked on an Ultraman. It's really bad, actually. It's really not too good. Team is kind of just a big cluster, so. Ooh, the Jaguar on the, on the Godzilla, though. Doesn't really look like it's gonna work out for too much longer, unfortunately. I didn't think Caesar would go for that either. Wow, Caesar's going crazy. Boy, Mothra to deal with this. I don't need the stressors getting up. It's already gonna be pretty tough. Oh, it already got a control. Well, oh, we just gotta hold out. Mothra is looking like she is on the leader, which is really nice. She's got a buff. Can pull through. Let's go. Let's go, Mothra. Good battle, Fierce. Had me scared there. I think if he had a little more time, he probably would have had us because his Earth was a problem. Let's meet again, bud. Next match, Mr. Coconut. Coconut might beat us here. We'll have to see. We'll just get our Jetto Jaga going. <laughs> Indeed, SOS JJ. I think Jet Jaguar is uh, better. Pro yeah, probably. He looks like he's doing pretty decently as a tank in the front lines. He's never really going to do too much damage, but, uh, you know, Jet Jaguar things. And let's do our King Caesar here. Should be pretty nice. And is he going to charge in time here? Ooh, he's not, but... Ooh. But we still got... You know, somewhat those guys. Uh oh. Whoa, Ultraman didn't want to stop locking on there. Well, Violante is probably gonna shit on the Jet Jaguar, be my guess. Yeah. Violante's probably gonna poop on Space Godzilla too, because Violante is still just 
disgusting. Ooh, King Caesar said get the hell out of here though. He does have Kamakris, so it's probably gonna get deployed here. Oh no, didn't have it. Ooh, if we charge in that Bailante too, then it's so nice. Destroy is probably gonna be evolving here. It did get uh, evolution buffs, so it's a lot easier. We'll see what we can do. Boy, Mr. Jaguar. Uh oh, speed boost. Adora is probably going to be splashing on us pretty hard here. Jet Jaguar didn't really do much since Adora's splash was getting in the way. But. Ultraman did not survive either. Should be okay. Mothra should help out here. Looks like we both just got one hit off on each other so far, so. We'll see what happens in overtime. Oh, thought Moth was gonna get that one. Yeah, unfortunately, I just can't fight into Bailante, so I kind of am forced to deploy onto the left side. We gotta take it out, like, as soon as we possibly can. Her door is a huge problem because a lot of our stuff's very bunched up. But we can get Caesar in there, hopefully. Let's play Mr. Space G again. Explosion did take out the Mothra. This is kind of hard though, just because Bailante is so disgusting. The thing about Bailante and Hedora is they like totally counter like <laughs> off meta like really hard. Really hard, they're super annoying. Oops, that might not be good. Oh yep, there's Bailante. That was fine. Why did our why did our Ultraman Why did he hit the ground? What? Dude, that's horrible. That is so horrible. Calm down, dude. Get it out of here. Oh, we could have deployed Mothra even further up. Probably wish we would have done that. Just gotta hope Mothra's damage is going to be you know, pretty good here. Jet Jaguar, get him. Pop the boost. Probably should have popped it in the other direction, but come on, man. I think we got it. Damn, man. That was a lot of fun, dude. It's a lot of fun trying out these new units. Destroya is uh, a lot more of a presence when he's, you know, evolved. He definitely got those buffs. We just edged it out because I think Mothra's chip damage kind of clutched there. It's good to see Mothra putting in the work. Next match, Japanese player name. The Jet Jago Wire Icon. I'll do you one better, dude. I'll give you the Jet Jaguar unit. Hmm. A non leveled. How do you have Manila at 30 and not <laughs> Mecha Godzilla? That's crazy. Timing was bad. Mecha Godzilla locked on too. What's his face? I don't want to deploy either. My energy just stopped working. Did you see that? That's fun. Do you like how my energy just totally stops going up here? That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool, you guys? Isn't that cool? Oh. Oh, dude. Flying Jet Jaguar. Look at that. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your entire life? 
what is going on? Oh, Space Godzilla is dead, but you know he's not actually dead. Jet Jaguar died though. All right, I'm out of here. Screw you, laggy game. Screw yo. It's meet again, man. Hopefully, I can actually play the game next time. Next match, monkey with an I. Usually, you see that with an E. It's really showing his individuality there. I'm going to deploy Mr. Nephilim. Drop the psychic course pretty prematurely. Nephilim did get a pretty nice HP buff. And uh, yeah, get that train bomb the hell out of here. Let my Mothra get it. Can you take one more? Oh, you can. Good shit, Nephilim. Oh, nice. Suit. Send Mothra. Have her poop on that Hidora for us. Send Space Godzilla here. Should be okay. I think we're gonna leave out the Jet Toe Jagger here. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice because those two are walking over there very slowly. We're stalling with our Ultraman. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let Mephilus join the fight here. I think this is his uh, moment. That looks pretty scuffed over there though. Hopefully that explosion hits Fedora. Did, very nice. Unfortunately, Ultraman's gonna go down, but maybe we get pressure with King Caesar. Looks like Mephilus is flapping that Dorora's cheeks over there, though. That's good. And I guess we'll start the push over again. Look at that just train bomb like that, it's so gross. Kamakra's train bomb, I guess that's a good way to get damage off. Unfortunately, he's gonna try to cheese me with uh, train bombs, so definitely can't let this happen too longer, too much longer. Pretty cringe, man. Pretty cringe. And we just gotta pressure him. Dimension Tide would be great here to pull the Sedora, and now it's just gonna kill our. Ultraman for free, pretty much. That's why Dimension Tide is just so clutch with uh, Ultraman. It's definitely needed. How did um, Mothra take damage? Did anyone see? Maybe Jet Jaguar would have been pretty nice here. He's just healing up like crazy. Fire Dance kind of broken, so. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna lose off the heal spam. Pretty sad. Unless, unless we take a chest and push here. And the train bomb. Good player, man. Good player. Gotta get those trains in there. Look at this guy. <laughs> Annihilation, dude. Let's go, man. You're so good at this game, dude. I'm not trying out all the buffs and nerfs, and you're just train bombing my leader. You're so good, dude. So good. It's honestly sad. It's just sad.
these kids are just really sad people. Next match, Umlaut. Umlaut. We'll just add Monkey's name to the, uh, the old journal of people we need to shit on and ruin their lives. You can tell he's a little kid, because only a little kid would comment Annihilation like that. Yeah, we're probably going to lose our Mothra here. Oof. Clapped right there. Kind of sad. I guess there's nothing you could do to break Ultraman from wanting to uh, go for the leader. Really? Kamakras, really? You're going to take out Ultraman there? Like, stop. Just stop, dude. Just stop. And he's not going to go for the... Oh, that's great. That is great. It's like the one G89 that doesn't go for both crystals. Oh, really? That's your plan? You're going to heal, bud? you going to heal, dude? Oh, how about that? Ultraman's almost not even worth deploying for leader damage, because without Dimension Tide, it's kind of... Well, now we can. You're going to deploy Godzilla into Jet Jaguar again? You're a crazy guy. And just pop the boost for some damage here. Hopefully it's enough. We didn't get up Mothra either, so... Come on, Ultraman! Come on, bro! Woo! That was a close one. Good battle, Umlaut. I won't spam Annihilation on you, because, you know, I'm not a moral piece of shit, so... I like to think I'm a good guy, you know. Just give him a good battle. It's a video game. Have fun. You know. And then just move on to the next one. Last battle of the video, Galoshzilla. What the hell is a Galoshzilla? I have no idea. But he's got a Naranga. Pretty sure Mephilus is going to do well into Gigan, so let's see how this does. Oh yeah, kick the shit out of him. Get the hell off of me, said Mephilus. And then he deploys it into Anguirus. Dude, I'm about to kick you. I'm about to kick you in your face. Bad. Hopefully King sees our charges into the guy again. Oh, 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 he didn't live. Almost though. Almost living. Unlocked like crazy. I don't know how long my energy was like that, but I probably should handle it. We'll do this. We're gonna try to stall on him here. We'll take a bit of damage, but uh, you know. We don't really have heals either, so it's kind of tough to do that. It doesn't look like he has like Crane Bomb or anything. And that's a 
pretty much the squad here. See how Mothra does in the 254? Ah, rough. Mephilus here. I'm just sent King Caesar behind Mephilus. Looks like it should be pretty good. Send Mothra. Pop our G89 boost for Mephilus and Ultraman and Burn Godzilla. Backer drop kinda kinda dirty. But if Mothra gets off an attack here, we may be able to... Oh, Mothra did get off a final attack. But it wasn't enough to finish it. And we don't have anything that could hit the leader, unfortunately, so... We're gonna have to go for a final push. Dragonal 4 is kind of getting clapped though. And yeah, he just realized it. Good battle. He hung on for a while. And that is probably going to be the last battle of the video. Just trying out these new units. And I gotta say, I do feel a lot better. Ultraman feels exactly the same. I mean, if you were, were I saw a lot of people that put GMATs into Ultraman for obvious reasons. He's a really good unit. If you're really worried about you know that investment i do think it's fine ultraman was a very strong unit and i do think he is still a very strong unit we just used him without dimension tide and he was pretty much still the one doing most of the damage burning godzilla did need an attack buff but we don't know how eva unit one is going to counter him like is it going to absorb the explosion completely is it just going to shield itself from the explosion we don't really know but if it does absorb the explosion completely, and EV Unit 1 is a good unit that is used a lot, it is very harmful for Burning Godzilla's, you know, overall viability. Space Godzilla, really good buff, just a little attack buff. That's something he needed. Um, he also buffs himself with the crystals, so that attack buff is a little bit more than what it's led to believe, and I do think Space Godzilla is in a pretty great spot. Mothra damage boost, really good, love to see it. King Caesar charging a little quicker. Just a small little buff, love to see it. Mephilus tankier, love to see that. Mephilus felt like he was doing pretty damn good for a level 24 when I did deploy him. Six cost is still a little steep though, so maybe we do get a cost drop still. And Jet Jaguar didn't feel completely useless. Um, for four cost, he's not that bad at tanking. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say he's like good or meta or even really close still but you know he's more usable and that's good to see overall i mean this patch is amazing we got a ton of buffs they adjusted how we level units so everyone who has put time into this game is going to be seeing extra pieces added into their inventory that's why a lot of my four stars like space godzilla is 22 out of 3 mothra is 22 out of 3 i didn't have any pieces before and then they just gave me like you know 20 extra ones so like I was probably 2 out of 3 on Mothra and 2 out of 3 on Space Godzilla before. And it gave me 20 extras, so really cool to see. Love this update. Gonna be getting EVA Unit 1 tomorrow, doing the unit showcase, and then we'll be trying him out in ranked as a leader and as a unit. He looks pretty damn good so far. I mean, look at those level 8 stats. 26, 266, 6, 601, 2.3 attack speed with range. That's what my level 15 Jag that's what level 15 Jaguar. He's beating his stats like crazy. Same attack speed, longer range, and two more costs, but I feel like the two more cost is way more worth it than Jet Jaguar 73. So we'll definitely be checking out how good EV Unit 1 is tomorrow. Subscribe and stay tuned for that unit showcase. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Let me know what you think about uh, all the balance adjustments, who you think is stronger, weaker, if you think Ultraman got affected, or Psychic Chorus. Oh, you know what? I should have used Psychic Chorus. Oh my gosh. Totally forgot about that. That would have helped a lot. But uh, yeah, anyways. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.